this lesson, I'm using the Premiere Pro project file 0901 frame rates and audio channels. You'll find that project file with the media associated with this lesson. Double click on the file to open it in Premiere Pro. A video is comprised of a series of still images called frames that are displayed so quickly they appear to be continuous. Different camera systems use different frame rates, and it's common practice to record a high frame rate on location so you can play back the action in slow motion in post-production. It's also common to use each audio channel in your recording separately, rather than capturing stereo or just mono sound. To work with these kinds of media, you'll need to tell Premiere Pro how to interpret your clips. I have a clip in my source monitor, it's this GoPR2562 MP4 file, that was recorded at a very high frame rate. It was recorded at almost 120 frames per second. If I play this back now, though, you can see it plays in slow motion. That's because, although it was recorded at about 120 frames per second, it's playing back at 30 frames per second. And notice I've got a sequence open in the timeline panel, slow motion sequence, that has just that clip inside of it. To change the playback speed for the clip in Premiere Pro, I'm going to right-click on it in the project panel. I'm going to choose Modify and Interpret Footage. This brings up the Modify Clip dialog, and there are quite a lot of options here to change the way Premiere Pro interprets your media. Right now, the frame rate setting is set to assume a particular frame rate, 30 frames per second. But I'm going to change this to use the frame rate from the file, which is a little over 119 frames per second. Now I'll click OK, and right away you can see a change occurs in the sequence. This clip is showing a lot of missing content, and that's because the clip is playing back faster. All of the media is there, it's just playing back quicker than it was before. Let's play this back in the sequence. And that's actually normal playback speed. It's much more than your eye needs to see smooth motion. If you've already added a clip to a sequence, as I had done here, when you make changes to the playback speed by adjusting the interpretation of the clip in the project panel, Premiere Pro won't change the duration in your sequence. And let's check out another scenario. I have another sequence here with a clip that has audio primarily recorded on one channel, channel 1 or left, but there's some audio on the right channel, channel 2, as well. Let's have a listen. Born in Japan, grew up there until I was five, then moved to... You can see the difference in the level by looking at the waveforms in the sequence. And in fact, if I double-click to open up this clip in the source monitor and switch to viewing the waveform, which I can do quite quickly by clicking on this little drag audio only button under the picture, it's even more visible that there's a difference between the two. Again, I'm going to right-click on the clip in the project panel. I'm going to choose Modify, and this time I'm going to choose Audio Channels. I'm going to switch the preset to Mono which means that I'll get two audio clips instead of one. One for the left audio and one for the right. And by default, they're set up so that clip number one gets the left audio, clip number two gets the right audio. I'll click OK. I get a warning letting me know that nothing's going to change for any sequences that already contain this clip. I'll say yes. And let's take that same clip and drag it into the sequence again. I'll just shorten the audio one track so you can see a little more clearly. Increase the height for audio 2 and drag over a little with the navigator. We now have two separate audio clips, one for each audio channel. And of course, we don't need the second one. In my timeline panel, I have the linked selection option turned off, which means if I select this unwanted audio clip, only it is selected and I can press the delete key to remove it. Remember, the linked selection option means any video and audio that was originally imported together will be selected if you click on either one. By the way, there's a slightly quicker way of achieving the same result. If I go back into that Modify dialog and set the number of audio clips to 1, and I'll just press the Tab key to come out of that Number of Audio Clips dialog, now only one audio clip will be added to the sequence when I edit this shot into the Timeline panel. I can choose which of the audio channels is used, left or right, click OK, I get that same warning dialog, and if I drag the clip into the sequence, I just get that one audio channel. 
Most of the time, you won't need to adjust the way Premiere Pro interprets your media files. But if you're working with slow motion video or professionally recorded sound, just remember to right click on the clips and choose Modify. If you have a batch of clips to change, select them all before you right click, the workflow is the same.